All right, so we're gonna do a quick overview of vacuum leak testing on a Miata here. Um, vacuum leaks can cause all sorts of issues, high idle, low idle, misfires, um, emissions codes, really just all sorts of weird behavior, and they can be very hard to find. Um, most people will just sort of take a look. You know, I mean, there's vacuum lines going all over this, some of the emission control stuff. Um, it can be really difficult to visually find one. Um, some cars even have caps around the back of the intake manifold in different areas. So the most effective way to find a vacuum leak is with some sort of smoke tester. So what we've got is this one right here, made by Autool. Um, these are available, I think they're about 200 bucks, maybe a little less on uh, Amazon. This one's a bit more advanced, has some pressure and flow gauges. Um, if you're testing a system that's sealed, then you can use that to actually see if it's building pressure and that can give you some more information. But for an intake system, what we're gonna check, it's not actually sealed. So it won't build any pressure. This is another type of smoke tester that you can get. Uh, I started off with one of these in the shop. It's very basic. You just uh, apply compressed air here as a regulator and then you hook it up to a battery. So basically this is just sort of a paint can with a electrical coil in it to heat the fluid and make smoke. Um, these work pretty well. It's a little bit cumbersome because you have to use compressed air and it doesn't have some of the additional gauges and features. So we eventually upgraded, um, but you can get these. I think these are less than a hundred bucks and um, they'll do the job just fine if you're just sort of a home uh, DIY type of mechanic. Um, we're gonna apply the smoke here to this extra fitting. This would typically be used for cruise control. Um, if you do have cruise control, you can unplug that and still use um, one of those spare fittings. Also a note there is if your car does have cruise control, then this line may be running over to the cruise control device. And what you can do if you suspect there may be a leak on the cruise control side, you can check it the same way that we're doing here, make sure there's no leaks around the intake or anywhere else. And then you can plug the smoke tester directly over to the vacuum um, solenoid there and check it on its own to see if it has some sort of vacuum leak. We are also gonna do two different tests on it, one with a vacuum leak so you can see what that'll look like. And then I'll do another one afterwards with no vacuum leaks and you'll see that the smoke will eventually make its way out the intake uh, because the throttle body isn't completely sealed and that's normal. So the way this machine operates, just hook it up to a battery here. It'll automatically kick on the pump. You can hear the pump running. And then when you turn it on, green light comes on and after just a few seconds, it'll start producing smoke. You, know, you can see it there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to hook it up here. It slides right on. This is just a spare piece of vacuum line that I use. The tool itself has kind of this cone shape, so it can go into all sorts of different sizes of hose. All right, so we're going to turn on the smoke, grab a flashlight. We'll basically start watching for anywhere around the intake manifold, any of these vacuum lines, start looking for little wisps of smoke to show up. It'll usually take a few minutes, just kind of patient, keep watching. Want to look around the seals, the intake manifold gasket, injector seals, and get leaks down in there. But we're starting to get some smoke down here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up very well. You can see this hose here. We've got 
got a leak there. Now that I did basically on purpose and turn the machine off. So I did that on purpose so we could basically see what that looks like. You can see the smoke kind of hanging around. So we're gonna hook that back up and do a test to see how it should look if there are no leaks at all. So now we're gonna run a second test here. Basically just as a demonstration of how things are supposed to react if there are no vacuum leaks. So we've got it hooked up the same as before. We've got our smoke tester hooked up into this vacuum line. All right, so we're gonna fire this up. Hook the power up just like before. Start the smoke. And as I mentioned previously, the throttle body is not completely sealed. So, which is why it's not building any pressure here. And that's what we expect. And then after a certain amount of time, we should start to see smoke coming out of the intake. And that means basically everything's healthy. So in the meantime, we'll keep monitoring. I don't actually know for sure that this car has no vacuum leaks. For the previous test, we sort of implanted one as a demonstration. We'll basically just keep monitoring. You want to look around every, every place the vacuum lines hook up. Watch for any little wisps of smoke. And then as we come over pretty quickly here, you can see the intake. The smoke's starting to come right out the filter. And so that gives us the confirmation that it has completely filled everywhere in the intake. And that we don't have any smoke coming anywhere else on here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I have some more videos coming out this winter.